Origin by Dan Brown. In his latest installment, Robert is invited to a mysterious event, an event that is held by his billionaire inventor tech friend, who also happens to be an enormous atheist. Robert obviously has his suspicions about what the event is about, but during the event, the presentation is interrupted. It's interrupted, and yes, by the way, I'm being vague to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, but it's interrupted in such a way that Robert must intervene. So in his latest novel, Dan Brown has successfully created a scenario where his super nerd character, Robert, is placed in a position where he's indispensable and essential for solving a crime which he witnessed. Just like every one of his other books, and just like all of his other books, he's given some hot chick to solve all these puzzles alongside, conveniently. And Robert must use all of his useless information of history and art to bring the criminals to justice and to finish the presentation that was started by his friend, the billionaire. Dan Brown writes it as though Robert's kind of a superhero nerd, and his superpower is his perfect memory, where he can remember all these facts from history, who did what and where, and Finally, all those useless facts are essential into solving a crime. But hey, it works. It was a good story for the most part. As a matter of fact, it could have been a great story. It could have been an outstanding story. In addition, I really loved his character, Winston, which was kind of an interesting character for Dan Brown to introduce to his latest novel. It did, however, have... It kind of reminded me of Iron Man in a little bit of a way. If you've read the book, then you know why. Well, that's kind of a minor detail. But what I really didn't care for was it was extremely preachy. There is a massive part of the book which almost sounds like Dan Brown is on a pulpit banging into our heads. Evolution versus creation, which is basically mostly what the story was about. The event was about a scientific discovery that was supposed to prove one way or the other whether everything started from creation or from evolution. And so Dan Brown uses a big chunk of it to kind of push his side of the argument. And why shouldn't he? It's his book. He can say whatever he wants and nobody can stop him. It's his book. And if you want to have a debate on creation versus evolution, go somewhere else because we're not going to have it here. I'm not going to waste any more time on that aspect of the story. Just know that it is a huge chunk of the book. So if you're sensitive on such things, you might want to take that into consideration before reading this book. But aside from that, like I said before, I really did actually like the book. I like the character of Robert and of course I'm going to make fun that the it seems like the perfect situation for a super nerd professor to be indispensable to the authorities. But all the history that he brings brings up in the book and all the different locations and architecture mentioned is actually pretty interesting and how he ties it all together as far as the story goes. And like most of his all of his other books, he keeps us guessing right up until the end on who is actually behind the scenes pulling all the strings for this crime that was committed at the event early in the book. Blending the characters together, keeping some of them in kind of a gray area, keeping you guessing if they should be trusted or not, right up until the very end. I don't know that you needed to read all the other books in order to understand how this one fits into everything. And they've made three of his books into movies. I'd be curious to see how they do this one. I just hope that they make the movie a little less preachy than the book. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm being overly critical. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time.